Hey, Jeremy here from Next 3 Tutorials. Next 3 allows you to add environment variables into your Next application and read from them. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, you're going to create a .env file in the root folder of your Next 3 application. I'm going to use the .env example here just because this one contains real environment uh, variables that are like private. But so how do we do this so you do you, you create a dot env and it looks like this for example let's say we have um i am allow google auth so i, I am is identity and access management platform this is what this framework is and allow google auth is an environment variable and it's false right so how do we then read from here into our next three application and the way we do that is we we have a nux.config uh, file and then from there right this is how we read that so that's I am allow Google auth dot process dot env I am allow Google auth. so this we're getting this uh, value from the env and then this is the variable in next three application that will contain the value of this variable in the dot env and all this is in your NAS config file and it's in the runtime config. I uh, see how this looks runtime config um, property or object. So we have that, and then all these. Right? Then you have public here. Public means that you want these to appear on the client side, but, but if you don't want them to appear on the client side, then you don't put them in the public uh, objects here so then how do we read this on wherever we want to in the one application meaning reading from the nux.config ts so i have an example here which is the login page and it looks like this you say use runtime config um public that i am allowed google also this use runtime config what it does it tells Nux to go and look at everything that's in the runtime config object here. And it's going to read this. And then if it's public, like we have here, then you can say um, public right there. And it, it's going to read that. And that's how you read any environment variable in your Nux uh, 3 application. Hey, if you want to learn how to create, how to do authentication in Nux 3, powerful authentication click the link below i want to show you how i created this beautiful app this is based on next i am it's a more complex app this allows you to register um allows you to log in using google and all that i want to show you how to create an authenticated app uh using next you'll be able to register a user you'll be able to log in be able to log out and all that good stuff so click the link below and then, hey i hope you like this video See you in the next one.